description we will see how to write a Verilog code and a test bench for the SR flip-flop S stands for set and R stands for reset and the word flip-flop is storage element uh, which is a sequential circuit and we do require a memory element for the functioning of the particular flip-flop so if you take the block representation of the SR flip-flop we do have two inputs as we told which is S and R and we have told that it is a sequential circuit and it contains a memory element we do have the clock which defines the memory element and we do have the output which is defined by Q and complement of that which is Q bar. The functioning of the SR flip-flop is provided with the truth table. Let us define the clock with S and R as the inputs, Q and Q bar as the output for the condition of 0 0 and the clock what we would be defining is the positive edge of the clock the output would be in the previous state which is Q and QB it is the previous state next positive edge of the clock when s is 0 and r is 1 the output of q is 0 and q bar would be 1 and it is in the reset state The next condition when S is 1 and R is 0, Q is 1 and Q bar is 0, the output would be in set state and the last condition with the positive edge of the clock when S is 1 and Q is 1, the output would be in forbidden state or in the undefined state. So uh, this is the block diagram of the particular SR flip-flop and according to the functioning uh, we have written the two table how the states would work when s is 0 and r is 0 and the positive edge of the clock the output would be in previous state when s is 0 and r is 1 in terms of positive edge of the clock the output would be in reset state when s is 0 when s is 1 and r is 0 and positive edge of the clock the output would be in set state and when s is 1 and r is 1 positive edge of the clock the output would be in forbidden state so we'll write a very long code for the sr flip flop and we have told that in the previous sessions that we are writing the very long code with the different description styles we have told that it is the a data flow description we have told it is the behavioral description and we have told it is the structural description so the code we are writing is in the behavioral description style and in terms of the behavioral description style uh, we have told that 
we do have the sensitivity element which is the always at and followed by the if else statement. So starting of the Verilog code with a predefined word which is module followed by the module name which is SR followed by the ports list we do have inputs which is SR clock we do have the outputs which is Q and QB next is the ports declaration input S R again the input which is clock output Q and QB and we have told that in terms of the behavioral description style we have the value that is stored and that particular value uh, should be sent to the output via the signal so we have the register which performs the operation register or reg followed by the sensitivity list which is always at and we are defining the operation with respect to the positive edge of the clock a predefined instruction which is pause edge of the clock and we will write the statements with respect to the if else begin if the first condition what we do have if s equals 0 and r equals 0 the output which is q is in the previous state else if s is equals to 0 and r equals 1 the output would be in reset state else if s equals 1 and r equals 0 the output would be in set state else if s equals 1 and r equals 1 the output would be in undefined state so what you would be writing is the high impedance state and this particular instruction defines one bit of the value and the assigned value is the high impedance state which is z so we are starting the statement with begin so before that uh, what we have told is that you do have q bar of representation so we can write it as qb is equal to complement of q and we do have begin we'll end the statement and next what we do have we do have the module and will end the particular module so uh, this is the verilog code for the sr flip flop and what we have defined the ports declaration first next uh, we have defined the sensitivity list which is always it and we have written the statements in terms of the if else so next we'll write the test bench for the SR flip-flop uh, to see the functionality of the SR flip-flop by defining the inputs test bench again we will start with module followed by the name which is SR underscore the extinction which is tb which is the test bench 
next we do have the declaration of the inputs and the outputs inputs are s r and the clock which is defined by the reg or the register the output is wire which is q and qb and uh, we need to interlink your inputs and outputs of your verilog code uh, with respect to the the test bench of the inputs and outputs what we have defined which is called as uut or it is unit under test again sr uut unit under test the inputs s r clock q and qb next we'll declare the inputs with initial begin for 100 nanoseconds so what we are defining is the inputs of s r and the clock for 100 nanoseconds the input should be stable and according to that the outputs are defined s is equal to 0 r equals 0 clock equals 0 s is equal to 0 r equals 0 clock is 1 we can define n number of inputs according to the n number of inputs we would be getting the output so for the first condition for 100 nanoseconds the inputs are defined as s is equal to 0 r equals 0 and the clock equals 0 and for the next 100 nanoseconds that is from 101 to 200 what we do have s is equal to 0 r equals 0 and clock is 1 so according to that we can define n number of inputs so we will have one here clock equals 0 for the next 100 nanoseconds clock equals 1 for next 100 nanoseconds clock equals 0 and the last what we will write s is equal to 1 we will write this as 1 s is equal to 1 and r equals 1 clock is 1 so we are starting the statement with begin what we do have end and next we are starting with module what we do have it is the end module so we have defined the inputs and according to the inputs we do obtain the simulation results of the particular output in accordance with the truth table what we have defined so this is a very log code and the test bench for the sr flip flop and we have written the statements in the behavioral description style thank you